Hello, good afternoon everyone. Hello, Anjit. Okay, so today we are going to do the exercise about the problem solving. So, we need to solve the problem about the 2D and 3D shape. We have learned about the 2D and 2, uh, 2D and 3D shape before. Okay, so you need to open your activity book part 2 and turn to page 77. Okay, page 77. Okay, now we want to look at the first question. Okay, activity one, question number one. Take the suitable model. Okay, look at the words here. Suitable model means we need to find which model is the more stable. Okay, model number one, model number two, or model number three. Okay, now we look at one by one. What happened if we choose model number two? Yes, because of the cylinder is at the bottom here. So, this one is not stable. Okay, how about model number three? This one also not stable because the cone is at the bottom here. And the cube will fell down. Okay, same goes to model number three and model number two. The cube will fell down. Okay, how about model number one? Okay. Now, model number one is the suitable, the more suitable model because this one is the stable one, the more stable. So, the answer is model number one. Okay, now look at question number two. The shape has four corners. All its straight sides are equal. Okay, look at the word equal here. We need to find the shape that has four corners and all the sides are equal. What do you think? What is the shape? Is it rectangle? Okay, we check. The rectangle has four corners, but the straight side are all not equal. Only two sides are equal to each other. So the correct shape is square. Okay, you need to draw or you can write the words to be the answer, okay. The first one is square. Okay, spell the words. And you need to draw the picture here. Okay, use your ruler please and make sure all the sides are equal. So the answer is square. Now look at question number three. Okay, Raju wants to be a cube frame using the straws. How many straws does he need? Okay, now students need to look at the draw, the drawing here. Okay, teacher, teacher draw the the cube. Okay, you need to count the edge. How many edge did I use? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So, how many straws altogether? Yes, 12 straws. Okay, so for this question, the straws refers to the edges or the straight edges. Okay. Okay, we continue the exercise on page 78. Okay, this is page 78. Okay, look at question number four. Sima made a bracelet with beads as shown below. Okay, this is the beads, the beads in the 3D shapes. What is the shape of the 11th bead of the bracelet? Okay, now we check the pattern here. Start with Start with a cylinder, cone, cylinder, two boy. Then it repeat again. Okay, this is the pattern. The first set. Now is the second set. Okay. Uh, repeat again the pattern. Cylinder, cone, cylinder, cuboid. Then we continue. Cylinder, cone. Cylinder again, then cuboid. 
So the answer is about the 11th bit. Okay, we need to find the, the 11 one. Okay, so we need to count. This is number one, number two, number three, number four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, find the eleventh one. Yes, this is the eleventh one. Okay, what is the shape here? Cylinder. So, uh, we have to answer here. You can write the words or you can draw. Cylinder. Cylinder, or you can draw one, two. Okay, that's the answer for question number four. Okay, now we look at question number five. Elisa buys food in the cuboid shape container. We need to find the correct container here. Take the food that she might buy. Okay, container number one, container number two, container number three. Which one is the cuboid shape? One, two, or three? Yes, this one. This one is the... Is it number three? No, this one. Number two. Number two is the cuboid. How about number one? Number one is the cylinder. Okay, we check number... The third container. This is cube in shape. So, this one is the cuboid. So, the answer is in the middle here. Okay. So, we proceed to question B. Name the 2D shape that form when she traces the container. Which container? The cuboid container. Okay. What can we find the piece? Okay. The first answer is rectangle. Okay, you can draw the answer here. This one. Or maybe you can draw like this one. Okay. So that's the answer for question number five. Okay, now this is our last exercise for today. Turn to page. 80. This is on page 80. So we need to complete this, this crossword puzzle. Okay, we start with the across one. This is the across. Down is like this way. Okay, so we start with the across one. Okay, look at question number one. A circle has how many curved sides? This is question number one. This is question number one. Okay, we got three box here. A circle has, yes, very good, one curved side. So, you need to fill in the blanks here. One. Okay, one curved side. Okay, now, number five. Five, find number five. This is number five here. Is uh, what we call this one. What is the shape? Yes, pyramid. P Y R A M I T pyramid. So we need to transfer the answer here. P Y R A M I T. Okay. Settle number five. So we go to number seven. This is number seven. Find number seven in the crossword puzzle. Okay, this one is number seven. A square has Equal straight side. Okay, how many straight side for the square? Okay, this is the square. One, two, three, four. So the answer is four. Okay. F O U R four. Okay, this is number eight. Number eight here and number eight here. A ball looks like a. What is the three D shape for the ball? Yes, very good. Sphere. S P H E R E. Okay, we fill in the blank here. S P H E R E. Okay, now we do the the down question. Okay, did you change? 
change the blue color. Okay, what we call this shape, this 3D shape? This one is a, yes, very good, cylinder. Okay, fine. Find number two in the crossword puzzle. Okay, so we need to transfer the words. C, in, the. Okay, how about number three? What is the answer for number three? A uh, has six equal flat faces. Okay, this is number three. Okay, we have four box here. That's mean only four letter. A, uh, a cube or a cuboid? Yes, a cube. So write down your answer here. Q, C, U, V, E. Question number four. A triangle has three straight. What we call? Okay, look at number four here. We have I, we have S, already I and S. So a triangle has three straight sides. S, I, D, E, S. Okay, last question for today. A cylinder has two, two faces. What faces? Two flat faces or two curved faces for the cylinder? Yes, very good. Flat, two flat faces. F, L, E, T. Okay, girls, so that's all for today. Thank you, class. Goodbye.